slip bob that's at the beginning We're trying to fish for a perch in some really rocky places. We're trying to keep the drop shot effect without having to worry about snagging on the rocks. This works pretty well. First, you need to get your slip bobber stop. I like these string ones. Slide it on, slide it down to where you want it. Push, pull it off this little tube and tighten it down. Clip the excess. All right. Clip the excess, all right. Slide that tube off. Now you wanna make sure you get your bead on. All right, slide the bead on. Slide the bobber on. Make sure you slide it so the small end is up, the big end is down. That way, you don't your bead don't slide through. All right. Now I like to put two hooks on. I like to put one hook on up off the bottom about six, eight inches. So slide it on. We're going to tie a triple turn water knot. Slide the line through eyelet so that your hook is pointing up like this. All right, now you take and loop your line over like so. All right, and then you take and hold your line, and while you're holding the two lines like this, you take your take your hook. There you go, spin it one, two, three times. Then you want to pull your lines tight. Make sure you get nice and tight. Snug everything up there. There we go. And that really keeps the hook popping straight out. Better than a polymer knot. Then grab, I like to use a jig on the bottom. This jig is a Kinder's five millimeter. Long shank, so you can put a plastic on it. Slide it up to where you want it, you know, six, eight inches. Tie up, tie in a polymer knot, so I'm gonna slide the line through the eyelet, and then back through. All right, now I'll take the loop end, overhand knot, okay, back through. Then when that loop goes through there for your overhand knot, take the loop over the jig and then pull it tight. Clip the extra. All right, now I'm gonna put a little split shot on so we don't have to worry about that bobber hitting our drop shot hook and messing it up. And we'll split shot up the line six inches from the middle hook or the top hook. All right. Now let's take our minnow. I'm going to put a peach crappie candy on this hook. Pete's, no, we're going to take Pete's Dominator Craw for the bottom jig. Alright, so there you go. And it helps to keep your jigs out of trouble. Tighten the line just a touch so the bobber doesn't move and bounce your poles. Bobber bounces causing this tail to flap. It works pretty darn well.